Hello, this is Paul Finley, a guitar instructor here at Lone Star School of Music. I also teach mandolin, tenor banjo, bass, uh, Native American flute as well. Um, so we are going, on, uh, going over the fundamentals of the postures in the body here. These would have been the first five minutes of your first lesson on your first day. Very important stuff here. So your arms, let's go over these. If you're right-handed, your right arm's going to work like a windshield wiper. It'll just go over the strings back and forth loosely like that. You don't want to be tense, say, from the elbow to the end of the fingers here, where you're kind of locked in like that. That's just going to move loosely like that. Same thing with the wrist. Everything's kind of one uh, fluid motion. The way you hold a pick, and I recommend a pick for when you're first starting out, especially for strumming chords and that kind of thing. Um, you're going to be holding the pick at a 90 degree angle where you have your first plane this way and due south from the tip of the pick, boom, 90 degrees that way. And then that gives you your uh, point to pick the string on the guitar. You're going to hold the pick about right in the middle of the pick like that. You do not, do not want to hold it at the top of the pick, but again, about right here in the middle. Um, your thumb, first and second fingers, that's fine. Thumb and index, also fine. That's what I do. Thumb and middle finger, not so fine. In fact, they might give you a fine and throw you into guitar jail for doing such naughty things. What? Um, that will produce a loose wrist here in the strumming. So, say right here and then we move accordingly. Your left arm, your left arm, the elbow, you won't need to tuck it in, you won't need to stick that out, it should hang naturally off the torso here. And then your thumb will ride the top of the neck here and that supports the weight of your fingers. Lastly, your thumb, don't have that scoop underneath here. That'll just again remain on the top. Another thing to watch out for is don't have, find your thumb sticking out this direction on the neck as if you're thumbing a ride. Again, that moves the wrist at kind of a, a cockeyed angle. So there we go. That's our first start here. Um, if you'd like to get on my schedule, please contact the school to find out my times, days, availability. And we thank you so much.